to consider the agenda of this two-year synodal process and where it might lead, I'm joined by theologian and former head of the Vatican's doctrinal office, Cardinal Gerhard Mueller. Your Eminence, thank yeah. you for being here. What thank a pleasure to see you again. See you again. Thank <laughs> you. And nice to have you on set. Um, the last two years, the Church has been polling Catholics all over the world, and non-Catholics, we might add, about their desires in the Church and from the Church. Now these national reports have been sent to Rome. Uh, internationally, an average of 1 to 10 percent of baptized Catholics have really taken part in these uh, synodal discussion groups. For such a small representative group, do, do these national surveys mean very much? Do they actually reflect what Catholics are most concerned about? I think the approach is wrong. We have not desires uh, towards God, but God has the des desires to us, mm -hmm. and we have to listen to the word of God and then to uh, put it in, in the practice. Mm -hmm. And I think that is a form of plebiscite in the Catholic Church, uh, is, I think, is against uh, Dei Verbum, the dogmatical constitution mm -hmm. of the Vatican Council, that the Church is listening to the word of God, that is uh, more important than this collection of so much things. Mm -hmm. uh, we have nothing to do with our life today. Yeah, these reports are, um, the, the concerns of these reports are curious. Uh, mm -hmm. In the U.S., England, Ireland, France, and others, they cite the need for a more welcoming church, Your mm -hmm. Eminence. In particular, the synthesis identifies uh, the LGBTQ plus community, the divorced Catholics, women in the church, they desire more control, power, mm -hmm. presence, representation. Uh, regarding the LGBT community, the U.S. Mm -hmm. report states the following. I'll put this up for you. The hope for a welcoming church expressed itself clearly with the desire to accompany with authenticity LGBTQ plus persons and their families. In order to be a more welcoming church, there's a deep need for ongoing discernment of the whole church on how to best accompany our LGBTQ plus brothers and sisters. What do you make of this focus mm -hmm. on the LGBTQ plus community, and how do you see the evolving synod taking up those concerns? I think this ideology behind was to instrumentalize the Catholic Church and the faith for promoting their own ideas, but in reality everybody is welcome in the church, but first he must repent his sins and to change his life according to the commandments of God. And that, that is the best for us uh, human beings mm -hmm. to follow the way of Jesus Christ and to change our life uh, according to these commandments and to the gospel of Jesus yeah. Christ. The, the, these national synthesis, these reports, mm -hmm. they all seem to tend in a direction of stronger leadership and more uh, presence in decision making for women. The Australians specifically request an ongoing discussion about the ordination of women and mm -hmm. deacons. Now, hasn't this question of female ordination been settled by the last several pontificates, including Pope Francis. Yeah, the approach is wrong. In the Church, we have nothing to do with political power and self-representation, but we have to follow the will of God and to be responsible for the salvation of, of, the, of all, all the mankind, and we have to cooperate with the will of God. We have the mission of Jesus Christ mm. to lead everybody to the salvation to, to, uh, in Jesus Christ. He's the only uh, redeemer and not, we have not the self-creation, the self-redemption. Uh, uh, and then I think that it's all manipulated of, of our ideology and that uh, nothing to do with the gospel and, and the doctrine of the Catholic Church. As someone who has dedicated his life mm -hmm to protecting this doctrine and extending it. You mm -hmm. were head of the Vatican's Congregation mm -hmm. for the Doctrine of Faith. Mm -hmm. What must you think as you watch a, an, a, a system being created 
mm. where all of that doctrine seems to be up for grabs, Your Eminence, mm. where anyone can, by a popular vote, we can toss out or pull in doctrines of the moment, because that is given more weight than the time-tested eternal doctrines that the Church has embraced and championed since the time of Christ. The basis of the Church is the Word of God, is the revelation, and not our uh, strange uh, reflections about this and these things. This is a system of self-revelation and is a, the occupation of the Catholic Church is a, is a hostile takeover mm -hmm. of the Church of Jesus Christ, which is a column of the truth, of the revealed uh, truth. And if you look only one page or read one page of the, the gospel, of the uh, uh, gospels for the gospels or of the letters of the apostles, you see that is nothing to do with uh, uh, Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. with uh, the triune God, and they think the, the doctrine is only uh, like a program of a political party mm. who can change it according to their voters. 